So we start the procedure with folding the lens. This is the P cartridge. You see the P and the symbol of the cachet faking IRL. I inject the cohesive visc elastic, provisc, into the cartridge until some spills out at the end. The next step is to take the lens out of the wagon wheel container. I use a special forceps with rounded branches to grasp the IRL. I go about halfway up the optic. Then I confirm the vault and the upside down indicator, which must be in the right, on the right hand side. You see it here behind the leading haptics. Now I bring the leading haptics into the dive position and introduce the lens into the cartridge until the optic is almost in. Then I take the forceps back, close it, and put the branches of the forceps all the way over the optic up to the bridge, pushing the optic down and then advancing it, thereby making sure that the optic edges fold both forward, as is visible here. Nicely folded forward. The next step is to introduce the cartridge into the Monarch folder. until it clicks in. Then I advance the plunger, make sure it engages the bridge, and slowly advance the RL. Gets perfectly folded, dive position, and both optic edges folding forward. Perfect, the patient has three quarters of a diopter for stigmatism. With the rule, so we will basically place two incisions. This is a 2.6 millimeter keratome. Dann zurück zum Licht schauen. Look at the light. Because of the astigmatism. And we will do a bimanual irrigation aspiration technique. So we basically use two side port incisions. Perform with a 15 degree knife. Perfect. Now visc elastic is injected, a cohesive visc elastic. Poor visc is the first choice three o'clock position and a nine o'clock position to push the iris back. After injecting the viscoelastic, the cartridge is introduced into the eye for mid-pupil delivery. And the IL is slowly injected. It's a deep set eye, observing that the optic is folding forward. Upon injecting it, I slowly retract the cartridge so that the trailing haptics are actually delivered outside the eye. Press on. Now the trailing haptics are introduced using a push-pull. I push, I push in the middle of the haptic, push the right one in, and then I do the same with the left one. So we have a very controlled delivery. The next step is removal of the viscoelastic. I introduce first the irrigation port of the bimanual IA and then the aspiration port and carefully remove the viscoelastic behind the IL here. Here we have a very deep set eye, noch mal wässern. Then we remove it around the periphery of the anterior chamber, so the bimanual irrigation aspiration requires a lot of uh, instruments, but it is the safest and most controlled way to remove the viscoelastic. So it is the recommended procedure 
I can also change hands to make sure everything is removed in both parts of the interior chamber if I'm not sure to reach this with one position of the irrigation handpiece. That's what we're doing here. So once the risk elastic has been removed, Halten Jürgen, BSS, I will first seal, ganz ruhig, I will first seal the first side port incision by hydrating it before I pull the and piece out. Just for added safety. Schön to look at the light, excellent. Perfect. So all the incisions are basically sealed during using BSS to hydrate them.